In this next segment, we want to talk about how to actually record your program. Besides being a switcher, the, the TriCaster here is also what we'll be using for recording the video in our program. Uh, first of all, we want to set up the record um, to tell the TriCaster where we want to record the video and also whether we want to record more than one video, which is a really nice feature of the TriCaster as well. Um, normally, what you'd be recording is program. So as we've been switching from camera to camera, up on the program monitor there, uh, that's one of the recordings that you would almost always make is to record program. But in addition to that, the TriCaster will let you record what are called isolation feeds, meaning that you can be simultaneously recording the program feed and then say one of the other cameras all the time. TriCaster will actually let you record multiple things simultaneously so that you can set it up to uh, record program and then some sort of backup recording so that if you make a mistake, in your main switched feed, you can also go back in the uh, take those two videos in the editing room later on and fix whatever mistake you might have made. Okay, so how do we go about recording? Well, first of all, I'm going to go up to the to the interface screen on the far right hand side, and there's a record button all the way at the top of the screen. Notice when we look at the record button here, there's a little tiny gear button just to the right side of that, and if I click on that, it opens up the record. Uh, configuration window here that allows me to set up how I want to record my video. You have down below here all of these little items that say mix one and mix two and mix three and mix four and these are where you can do multiple recordings. Notice that there's a checkbox besides beside the mix one line there and that basically means that we're set up right now to just record program. At the far right hand side over here you can tell it where you want to record. Remember, the TriCaster has four hard drives built in. They are the D drive, the E drive, the F drive, and the G drive. So by default, it has it set up so that if you were going to do four recordings, it would record one of those feeds on each of the four drives separately. It's also possible to steer the video to go someplace else, to some other drive, or to some folder that you've created that has your name on it, so that it's easier to find the recordings that you've made later on. Okay, so how do we assign what's actually going to get recorded on these? Uh, that actually happens over on the other monitor here, over on the screen where we're seeing uh, the program and preview monitors. So I'm going to drag my mouse over here for a second. And if I put the mouse pointer right over the program window here and then double click, it opens up this, this hardware configuration window. That window actually has four tabs across the top and we want to go to the one that says output. When we click on the output tab, it shows us those same terms we just looked at, mix one, mix two, mix three, and mix four. And it shows that next to them right now we have program alongside mix one. On, alongside mix two, we have camera one assigned. By mix three, we have camera two, mix four is camera three, and so on. But these can be changed. If you want something else to be, if you don't want to record program on mix one, you can click on the little pop-up menu here and you could choose things like program clean. Program clean basically is program but without any graphics. So if you're adding any elements from the downstream key one or downstream key two, it'll be recording the video but without those graphics over the top. So if you want to go back and change the graphics later on, you have a, a version without the graphics on it. Or you could record preview all the time. I'm not quite sure why you do that, but you can record preview. You can also record individual inputs like camera one, camera two, camera three, and camera four. So the way that I have it set up here, if we did four records, I'd be recording program on mix one, then camera one all the time on mix two, uh, camera 2 all the time on mix 3 and camera 3 all the time on mix 4. But again, you can choose other things that you might want to record like media players or buffers or anything that you like. Okay, so once I have that set up the way that I want, I'm going to close that window, go back over to my record setup, click on my little gear button, and notice now I'm only set up to record mix 1 because only that box is checked. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to leave that as it is, mix one. You can name the file if you like. So for example, if you wanted to just call this program, I could click into that window and then use the TriCaster's keyboard to type in whatever you actually want to call this recording that you're making. So you can customize it as much as you like. And then you can also determine where you want to save it. So if I click on the little button that's just to the right of the current destination here, 
I can then choose where I want to save on which one of the four drives in any particular folder that I want that's going to make it easier for me to locate it later on. So if I want to do multiple records, I just check mix two and mix three and mix four. And now it's set up to make four recordings simultaneously. Once I've done that, I can click close. And now you'll notice the record button up here looks a little different than it did before. It shows mix one and mix two and mix three and mix four. When I'm ready to start recording, I can either do that by using the mouse here and clicking on the record button. And when I click, it'll change to red. Oops, a little too fast on my click there. It'll change to red and start recording. You'll notice that it shows a little time counter there and all four of the mixes are lit up here. If I want to stop recording now, I can just click that same button and it'll stop the record like that. Now I can also trigger my record to start from the control surface here. At the very top of the window up here in this little section that's marked in red, it shows a record button. When I push that record button, it should do the same thing that we did by mouse clicking. I can click on it. It'll, if I look over at the uh, interface screen, it shows that we're recording now. So the light is red and all four of the mixes are, are set up to record. Uh, and we now are recording. You can record as long as you need to, or at least until you fill up the hard drives on the TriCaster. Um, to stop it recording, it won't actually stop by pushing the record button again. It's actually not letting me stop it that way so that you don't accidentally stop recording. You might have noticed though as I was tapping on that, it's flashing the shift button down at the bottom of the screen down here. So what it's telling me is that I need to hold down the shift key and then push record and that will make it stop recording like that. It's always a good idea to do a test recording before you start your show so you can play it back and watch it to make sure that your record worked correctly um, and that everything is, you've got both video and sound looking the way you expected it to look. It's possible actually to import those clips that we just recorded from the TriCaster into one of your DDR bins and then you can play it back. That's also handy if like you have a guest on your show and they, they've just done their performance and now they'd like to come in and watch what they just recorded. You could import that into the DDR bin and then play it back for them to enjoy. So that's how you set up the TriCaster to record not only your program feed, but individual cameras as isolation recordings, just in case you make a mistake somewhere along the line.